Michigan mother whose son murdered four other students gave dramatic testimony in her own trial yesterday. Jennifer Crumbly told the jury she wouldn't have done anything differently before her son's attack at his high school in 2021. Lilia Luciano is covering the trial in Pontiac, Michigan. Jennifer Crumley took the stand in a courtroom outside Detroit Thursday. She's the first mother to ever be charged in her child's deadly school shooting. Did you ever believe that your son needed mental health treatment? No, I mean, there's a couple of times where Ethan had expressed anxiety, but not, not to a level where I felt he needed to go see a psychiatrist. But school staff have testified that on November 30th, 2021, Ethan Crumbly's parents were called to Oxford High School and urged to get him psychological help. Hours later, he pulled a handgun out of a backpack and killed four students. My child harmed and killed other people. I wish he would have killed us instead. Crumley testified that her husband James was the one who bought the gun four days before the shooting and was responsible for safely storing it. It was more his thing. Both parents face involuntary manslaughter charges, in part, prosecutors say, for ignoring the warning signs. Jurors heard chilling entries from the shooter's journal, writing, my parents won't listen to me about help or a therapist, and I have zero help for my mental problems, and it's causing me to shoot up the school. Crumley cried in court as jurors watched surveillance video of her son's rampage. If convicted, what kind of precedent would this set? A great precedent. It will change the whole landscape and how prosecutions are done in school shootings. Jennifer Crumley has pleaded not guilty. Her son was sentenced to life in prison back in December, and her husband's trial is set to begin in March. Tony. Lilia, thank you very much.